Qualification match, 31. Shutting us off, let's hear it for 39, 57, 59, 37. That's MI Robotics from Mercer Island, Washington. It's been a day. And the sequel, 9997. You know who they are. And finishing us off, it's 1318. We're always glad to see the IRS here. I'm still not paying my taxes, okay? You can't make me. And over here, our fellow ERA members, 4512. Whether neutral or good, they are otter chaos. Get a grip of yourselves, guys. It's 63, 9, it's 50. I can't get a Nathan needs a grasp on this. It's Clawbots. I can't even get a grip. And rounding us off, it's 30, 50, 63, 90. I know, it's the conversion from metric. That's Hephaestus from British Columbia. I need, I need something. I don't know what I need. I need to sit down. my brain fart of the highest caliber. We're ready to go. Match 31. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, thank you, Nathan. It. Go take a break, you need one. We've got our robots taxiing out there in their autonomous, moving out of their tarmac zone so they can score those autonomous taxi points. It's a quiet day for the cargo though. Otter Chaos sends one up. And we had two cargo scored in that for blue. And we're off again. We've got a couple of robots to watch in this match. We've got Otter Chaos and Clawbots ranked eight and nine on the Blue Alliance. And we always watch out for the IRS any time of year. They are ranked fourth right now. It seems to be a party over here on the Blue Alliance side with five of our six robots over there on Mercer Island looking for someone to terrorize on the other side. They make a good tag team, those robots. At 20 to 14, we are a low cargo game right now. Everybody running around trying to stop each other from scoring. The defense in this game takes some interesting forms. You can block your opponent from scoring. You can run into them while they're scoring and you can try to keep them from reaching their safety zone. We've got cargo up for the Red Alliance. Clawbots are carrying a couple around. They look like they're looking for their hangar zone, but they got a couple of cargo too. IRS and Hephaestus jockeying for position at the blue terminal. Got one up there, it bounces off the rim. Second one up from IRS, and it goes through, it's good. We got a pile of blue robots, they must be coming over to say hi to our head ref, Natalie. Clawbots are going for the early climb up on that traversal. They can stay up there. That's a 15 point score for their team. They just need one more robot to earn the hanging ranking point. If the robots don't tear the field apart. The robots are getting enthusiastic with the field, be careful out there, guys. We got red cargo up, three blue, and it knocks out a red cargo. There's your other red cargo, it's up, and it's good. We are in our end game period now with five seconds left. We've got IRS heading for a mid climb. We've got Clawbots up and we've got Otter Chaos on the mid. Let's see if they can hold that. That would give our Blue Alliance the cargo ranking point if they can hold that through. We'll be back with our scores in just a minute.
scores are in from our scorekeeper, and it is the Blue Alliance. With a 55 to 30 win, you can see those extra hangar points came in very handy, as did the extra cargo scored. The Red Alliance also took home three of the four ranking points. I did not, nobody earned that cargo ranking point in this match. It moves Clawbots up to 17th and Otter Chaos and, or sorry, Festus up to 17th. Clawbots and Otter Chaos stay at their eighth and ninth place rank where the IRS drops to fifth place, but don't worry, the IRS always returns.